We begin in New South Wales where the Labor leader, Jodie McKay, has announced she will permanently dump the party's general secretary in that state, Kayla Manane, after last night suspending her. This followed explosive revelations yesterday at the ICAC hearing there about suspect political donations. Well, today, Kayla Manane has been back in the witness box and she has repeatedly broken down in tears while giving evidence. Let's go to Carolyn Marcus, who's been in the hearing and joins us now. Um, look, Carolyn, a lot to get through here. Firstly, Kayla Manane, tell us about her evidence given today and how emotional things got. Well, it was highly emotional this morning, David, for Kayla Manane. This was her second day in the witness box here at the ICAC, and today she broke down repeatedly as she spoke for one thing of her breakdown in uh, friendship with former Senator Sam Dastiari. She told the ICAC that he was one of those who had been putting pressure on her to resign following the federal election this year. But she said a couple of years ago, well, back in 2016, she'd actually gone to him to confide in him about a meeting that she'd had with a former Labor New South Wales MP, Ernest Wong, in which she said Mr Wong had told her that the Chinese billionaire and prohibited donor Huang Xiang Mo had been behind the mysterious Aldi shopping bag filled with $100,000 cash that had been dropped off at New South Wales Labor headquarters the year before. Now, this money had been uh, donated following uh, friends of a uh, Labor Chinese fundraising dinner held in March 2015. The party had then claimed that it had been made by 12 donors, but the ICAC is investigating whether, in fact, uh, there was they were acting as so-called straw men donors uh, stepping in and, and providing cover for Mr Huang. Now, Mr Dastiari is currently in the witness box. He is giving evidence about that conversation that he had with Kayla Manane, in which he uh, apparently gave her some advice to talk to a Labor lawyer, Ian Robertson. And today it was revealed that he gave a statement to the ICAC last week uh, under compulsory evidence. He, um, it was a closed session, but that has now been made public. He told her, that he told the hearing, look, my advice to her would have been cover your ass. Like, protect your ass. like, make sure you tell everything to Ian Robertson and make sure you get the lawyers in and don't worry about the expense of the party of getting really good lawyers. Now, Ms Manane had earlier told the hearing that she did go and seek advice from Mr Robertson, that Labor lawyer, after talking to Mr Dastyari, and he had advised her not to do anything to forget the conversation was ever held and he wouldn't be billing her for that conversation. Now, uh, in further explosive uh, developments today, the leader of New South Wales Labor, Jody McKay, who was a close ally of Kayla Manane, Ms Manane had actually helped her to win the leadership, today said that she would be permanently dumping Ms Manane from the role. Her position is untenable going forward. There will need to be a new General Secretary of the Labor Party. She is a broken person. She is 32 years old. And her entire career has come to a grinding halt in the worst possible way. David, uh, Mr Dastiari also expressed some sympathy for Kayla Manane as he arrived at the hearing this morning on a share bicycle. He told uh, the media, including Sky News, that he had given advice to her a few years ago and the pair had formerly had a close relationship. I actually feel... Um... I feel a lot of empathy for Kayla at the moment. I can only imagine what a difficult time she's going through. She's someone that I've cared about very, very deeply for many, many years, and it's just horrible to see her going through this. But I've always given Kayla the, the most frank and fearless advice that I could. Uh, quite a theatrical arrival for Sam Dastiari. I watched that footage, saw him put his helmet on and off three times there for the cameras. Uh, Carol, as you saw, wanting to clearly show he's very relaxed about everything. Uh, but the, the question here is... Sam Dastiari knew about this, let's be generous and call it, suspect donation from Huang Zhang Mo, allegedly unlawful donation, uh, Kayla Manane, Jamie Clements has at least been accused of uh, knowing, uh, other, well, the, the guy who had the Aldi 
bag stuffed full of cash, the Labor lawyer. I mean, how wide does this circle get? How, this is two years now. They've all kept their mouths shut uh, about a potentially unlawful donation. I guess the question this week is going to be how wide was that circle? That is absolutely right, David. And over the next six weeks, uh, the ICAC will be speaking to many witnesses about this. Um, Ernest Wong is one of the next to be called here. He is expected to front the hearing tomorrow about what he knew and what he told uh, Ms Manane back in 2016. But certainly this has been extremely damaging for New South Wales Labor, and that has led, of course to the leader, Ms McKay, taking that step today of announcing that she will be looking for a new general secretary to replace Ms Manane. Whether that is enough to convince the voting public that New South Wales Labor is now clean and free of problems, well, that remains to be seen. Carolyn Marcus, thanks very much for the update. Uh, we'll check in with you uh, on further evidence. And, boy, this is only week one of what could be... Uh, a six-week inquiry, we're told. So it's begun with, uh, well, a fairly explosive start, already claiming the scalp of Kayla Manane, the New South Wales Labor Party boss.